<clears throat> here's a question where you asked to rationalize the denominator. In other words, get rid of the radicals on the bottom. So you need to multiply by the conjugate. So here's the original, here's the conjugate, and you multiply on the top and the bottom. So then what you have is you have to foil both of these. I'll just write them, oh, rather than writing them in brackets, I'll just put brackets here. And there, and there, and there. Perfect. So it's a foil. So 1 times 5 root 3, 5 root 3. Then 1 times uh, root 15 would be a positive root 15. And root minus root 15 times 5 root 3. Ah, minus root 15. So I, I can multiply the stuff inside. So it would be minus... 5 root 45. Okay, and then this one times that one. Uh, it'll be a minus root 15 times root 15. Root 15 squared, that'll just be 15. Over, let's do the bottom one now. So 5 root 3 times 5 root 3 will be 25 root 9, which I can simplify. I'll do that later. 5 root 3 times root 15. Uh-oh, so plus 5 root 45. Okay, and then this one times this one will be minus 5 root 45, right on. And lastly, this one times this one, it'll be a minus, or oh, same as the top, root 15 times root 15 is root 225, which is just plain old 15. Okay, I think I'm fairly feeling fairly confident with my foiling. Now let's simplify. So this top one, oh, 5 root 3, there's no other root 3s, plus root 15, minus 5. Now 45 is the same thing as 9 times 5. So I could rewrite that as root 9 times root 5. And 15 I can't do anything with. On the bottom, same <coughs> except sign. They're opposites. I can cancel them. The square root of 9 is 3, so let me write that as 25 times just plain 3 minus 15. Okay, a little bit of simplifying up top. 5 root 3 plus root 15. Now, square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15, so it'll be minus 15 root 5 minus 15 over 25 times 3 is 75 um, minus 15. So the last thing I'll do is 5 root 3. Uh, none of the things on the top have a common radical or are like terms, so I just have to write them all. But on the bottom, of course, I can subtract those. Now, I think I'm pretty well done. The one thing I would love to have done would be to factor out um, so, um, uh, I would like on that top to be able to factor out a five, like I can factor five out of here and here and here, but this one doesn't have a number out front and I couldn't factor it out of something that is inside of a radical. So since I can't do that, I would probably just leave my answer just like that. All right. Hopefully that helps you with rationalizing the denominator.